Hi guys, this is the second part of third meeting. I just forgot that I have to make the second part of this video, so I'm just gonna continue our topic about um, quantitative method. Okay. Um. The technique and types of studies. There are multiple types of primary quantitative research. It can be distinguished into the four following distinctive methods, which are the first one is identify a survey research, and then the second one is um, hang on, hang on, hang on, correlational research, and the third one is causal and comparative research. And the last one is experimental research. So I'm going to explain about it by one by one. So it is easier for you to understand each type of method, each, each type of type. Okay, the first type of the, the first technique and types of studies is about identify a survey research. Survey research is the most fundamental tool for all quantitative outcome research methodologies and studies. Survey used to ask questions to a sample of respondents using various types such as online polls, online surveys, paper questionnaires, web intercept surveys, and so on. Every small and big organization intends to understand what their customers think about their products and services and how well are new features faring in the market and other such details. By conducting surface research, an organization can ask multiple survey questions, collect data from a pool of customers, and analyze this collected data to produce numerical results. So it is always about number, number, and number. It is the first step toward collecting data for any research. This type of research can be conducted with a specific target audience group and also can be conducted across multiple groups along with comparative analysis um, uh, Prerequisite for this type of research is that the symbol of correspondent must have randomly selected numbers, selected number of members. This way, a researcher can easily, easily maintain the accuracy of the obtained results as a huge variety of respondents will be addressed using random selection. Traditionally, survey research was conducted face-to-face -face or via phone calls, but with the progress made by online medium such as email or maybe WhatsApp or it's just like social media, surface research can spread to online medium as well. Traditionally, survey research was conducted to face, oh, I already read that, and then there are two types of survey, they are either of which can be chosen based on the time in hand and the kind of data required. The first one is cross-sectional survey. Cross-sectional survey are observational survey conducted in situation where the researcher is sent to collect data from a sample of the target population. Uh, and the researcher can evaluate various variables uh, at a particular time. Data gather with using this type of survey is from people who depict similarity in all variables except the vari variables which are considered for research. 
throughout the survey, this one vari variable can will stay constant. Um, Cross-sectional survey are popular with retails, healthcare industries, information is gathered without modifying any parameters in the variable ecosystem. Using a cross-sectional research method, multiple sample can be analyzed and compared and multiple variables can be evaluated using this type of survey research and the only disadvantage of cross-sectional surveys is the cause-effect relationship of the variable cannot be ex established as it usually evaluates variables at a particular time and not across a continuous time here I mean in the frame and then the second survey in survey research is about longitudinal surveys. It is also observational survey, but unlike cross-sectional surveys, longitudinal surveys are conducted across various time durations to observe a change in respondent behavior and thought process. The time can be months, years, and even or even decades. It depends on the data. And for instance, the researchers planning to analyze the change in buying habits of teenager over five years will conduct longitudinal survey. So in cross-sectional survey, the same variable they were evaluated at the given point in time and in longitudinal surface different variable can be analyzed at different intervals of time longitudinal surface are extensively used in the field of medicine and applied science apart from these two fields they are also used to observe a change in the market trend analyze customer satisfaction or gain feedback on product and service in situation where the sequences of event is highly essential, longitudinal surveys are used. Researchers say that when there are research subjects that need to be truly inspected before con concluding, they are related to longitudinal survey. And then the next one is about correlational research. Um, correlational research, experimental research. Actually, you can read it on the module because I don't have uh, plenty time to explain all of them. So I think that's all for the brief description of the third meeting. Bye bye.